Welcome to Haxby Shed. I want to show you some gifts I've been given by two Stuarts. Stuart the Builder and Stuart Not the Builder. Let's have a look at what Stuart the Builder has been doing. If you saw the shaper or the milling machine arrive, you know that it was a devil of a job to get those machines over the gravel. So we've had this concrete pad put down just in case I buy another machine, which of course I never will or if I need to move them. You know, one day I suppose they'll have to come out of here. But the other thing is, my son uh, has bought himself a Passat W8. He didn't pay a lot for it, but we've discovered that one of the big ends has gone. So he's going to have to do an engine swap. Now we do have a garage where he could work, but there's not the side space. So his plan is, you know, to bring the car onto here and then get the engine out on this pad. Anyway, I was talking to Stuart, the builder, about Haxby Shed and he said, well, are you interested in any tools? Because I knew an old gentleman who used to do a few jobs for me and he's passed away. Now his wife had called Stuart and said, look, I don't need this stuff. A lot of it wasn't worth very much and she, so basically she was trashing it. And she said to Stuart, if you want anything, just come along and take it. So Stuart picked out a few items, just sort of a carrier bag full. Um, but he said to me, look, I, I, I just didn't want to see them go in the bin, but I don't have any use for them. Would you like them? Because I want to give them to somebody who I know is going to look after them. And, you know, I might pass them on, but I'm not going to flip them on eBay or anything like that. So that's how they came to me. So we'll have a quick look at those. If my wife is watching, this plastic tray is definitely not the one from our kitchen any resemblances accidental. So from Stuart the Builder, Imperial hand reamers, half an inch down to this size. I can't read the size on it, but you get the idea. A couple of bits of bar stock look like high grade material. They're going to be useful. Some thread cleanup files. Do you call them broaching files? I'm not sure. 11 TPI up to, I think, yes, 26 TPI. So those could be useful. For things that you can't get into the lathe or you can't get a die onto or anything like that. I've got a couple of calipers, external, internal. Um, I'm guessing more and right. Yeah, more and right. And then, let's find somewhere to put these. That's it. So, and then, several DTIs. Okay. A couple of micrometers. So this one is a, what is it? It's a 25 to 50 metric. And this one is a two to three inch micrometer. A 16 TPI hand brooch and this thing which I'm going to zoom into in a moment and this thing I've no idea what it is so we'll zoom into that too maybe you can help me with that it seems to be marked in well I'll do this in a minute hang on so this gauge Mercer uh, tenths tenths of a thou batty a thou pag a thou. I think this is my favourite gauge. This mystery item, well, it turns out to be a pin vise. So there's a chuck on the end of there. Just a split, three-way split chuck on that end. And then there's a screw here and it possibly clamps a bar to go through there like that. But I think it's a pin vise. Now this mystery item, I don't know what that is. So there's a knurled nut at this end. All these will come off the shaft. It's a plain screw end head there and then these spacers come off so we've got three sixteenths, a quarter, three eighths, a half, three quarters, one inch and then this piece which I guess yeah is part of the main bar is two and three sixteenths inches and then they have these pieces on the end here I don't know what you'd even call them levers but they're not levers perhaps so if you know what that is let me know. So that was all the stuff from Stuart the Builder. Very useful. 
I won't be selling any of these. I have a number of gauges now. I don't know, maybe I might give them out as prizes sometime. Don't know. I'll recycle them with people perhaps that, you know, care about these things. Now we'll have a look at the stuff that I got from Stuart, not the builder. Stuart, not the builder, saw me messing with my Harrison vertical head to make a new taper pin. And if you saw that, you know, well, I'd made the pin, but the problem was still alignment of the taper. And really I needed a taper reamer. Well, that taper is one and a half degrees internal angle. So a standard taper reamer wouldn't work. But even so, he contacted me via a comment and said, look, if you want to get in touch, I've got some taper reamers you can have. And that's what happened. So he's about 15 miles away from me. So when I got the box open, these reamers are parallel. Although these two seem to be tapered, as far as I can tell, it's just this lower section that's a bit tapered. The rest, I think, are parallel. These two are, all of these are tapered, I should say. Um, these are numbered imperial reamers. As best I can tell, they're 1 to 48 taper. It's a bit difficult to measure, but I think that's what they are. Um, I was getting, you know, 1 to 49 or something like that. So they'll be 1 to 48, I think. And they're numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if you know more than I do about that, just say in a comment. But these two, so these are labelled half inch and 7 sixteenths. Now they're not 1 to 48. They're something like 1 to 51, 1 to 52, something like that. So they would appear to be non-standard for imperial reamers, but again, you know, comments welcome. And these are more needle reamers, I would call them. I've just made that name up, but I think that's what they look like to me. Uh, there isn't really any information on them. Some of them look homemade. Okay, and now besides, he gave me a box of taper pins. So I'll have to get those into the evapor rust. Well, I should clean up quite nicely. They're anything from large to reasonably small. But this isn't all that he gave me. There's a couple of other items to show you. One or two of these look as if they could be straight pins. No, that is, that's taper. So, yeah, okay. There's several repeats in here. I think four of these are quarter half inch maybe. We'll sort them out later. They're fairly easy to distinguish between these and the taper reamers. Right, so just as I was leaving he said, oh, are these of any interest to you? <laughs> More and right. Uh, what would you call it? You call it a super, super precision uh, micrometer. This one's in millimetres, metric. So it's for a bench micrometer as far as I know. And then he gave me this beast. Now it is damaged, but even so, look at that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you can see, look, how it's got corroded here for some reason or other. Oh, there's an aeroplane going by outside. We'll just live with it, I think. And here it's quite corroded too. Um, so this is this measures off. It's a uh, it's a starret, and it measures off in tenths of a thou. So it's still quite usable, even though it is a bit damaged. Now, I didn't have a specific purpose for either of these. They were just nice to have, particularly this one, which is almost as new. And I might do something with this. I don't know. Um, it's a bit strange here because it's raised up. Now I don't know whether it's corroded into that shape, but it's definitely raised. Well, as far as I can tell, it's raised just there. And the paint's coming off over here. But as a curiosity item, it's very nice, isn't it? Well, I've just come back into the workshop the next day to check something. Now, in case you didn't see it, this is the taper pin that I made for the milling head. 
and it was measured, I measured it at one and a half degrees internal angle and that was the same as the previous pin but it occurred to me maybe that one wasn't the original pin although this one does seem to fit correctly in the head but since I've now got the reamers this is the reamer labelled 716 I just thought I'd try it in and see how well it fits just to set my mind at rest really and it does rock quite a bit so I've come to the conclusion that I was right this isn't a standard taper now if I'd had these reamers when I was making that pin maybe I would have reamed this out standard just so that it was always standard but I won't be doing that now I'm happy with what I've got but I did want to say thanks very much Stuart um, for these taper reamers because they could be extremely useful just to finish off I'd like to put in a trailer for my next video I'm going to be reviewing this Vivo 10 inch swiveling table 75 pounds UK money 35 pounds weight that's confusing isn't it 16 kilos weight 91 US dollars 86 euros it's just arrived this morning it's free to me I've had a quick look it seems pretty good but we'll get it unboxed in the next video and we'll do some tests on it and see what it's like first signs I'm quite encouraged so I'll see you on that one